Hello everyone, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here with a big box labeled AMD Ryzen. So I'm sure you're all aware of what is inside this box. So I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna rip it open and show you what's going on. So we have some exciting stuff going on right here. This is the brand new Ryzen 7 3700X processor. Right next to it here, the big boy Ryzen 9 3900X. Uh, this little box up here, really exciting. A Gigabyte Aorus NVMe PCIe Gen 4 SSD and right here is some G-Scale RAM. So let me rip these boxes open and show you what's going on inside. So this is what was inside that G-Scale box. It's a uh, dual channel kit of G-Scale Trident Z Royale memory. Nice gold shiny stuff RGB underneath these funky looking crystals. This is a uh, DDR4 3600 megahertz kit CAS latency 16. We will be sure to test the Ryzen processors with this memory here. Now let me get that SSD open because I know you guys want to see that too. So this is what we had going on inside that gigabyte SSD box. It is uh, a Fizon based 2 terabyte NVMe PCIe Gen 4 SSD. So these guys are capable of 5 gigabytes per second sequential transfers. That's one of the advantages of the PCIe Gen 4 support on AMD's new platform. Now these drives were pictured in lots of the articles that went live with these copper heat sinks installed. Uh, it appears to be an option on here. You don't have to install it, but it comes with the hardware necessary to put it on there. So I've gone ahead and taken the liberty of cutting the box open. As, uh, as mentioned, this is an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X inside here. Now these processors will include a cooler. So inside the box is one of AMD's Wraith Prism coolers. So nice copper base with thermal paste pre-installed, copper heat pipes and aluminum uh, thin fins here with an RGB fan. There are some cables and stuff inside there to connect it to USB to control the lighting. And now as for the processor, let's get that little box going here. This is the Ryzen 7 3700X. I am probably going to leave it in its protective cover until I test it because it looks just like the previous gens. Uh, same socket AM4 here. Basically the same setup except for the branding. This is a eight core upper mid-range processor. This is the 3700X. Now let's get that 3900X opened up. So the Ryzen 9 3900X box is somewhat different. This guy just lifts up right from here and processor is sitting right on top. There is a cooler in this box. It is the same uh, Wraith Prism, so I'm gonna leave it under there. No need to pull it out and make another mess. But there is the processor. This is the top end 12 core that's arriving on launch day. So this guy's arriving today, 7.7. In September, there is a 16 core 3950X coming, uh, but that guy's a little further out. As of today's launch, this is the top end. Now, of course, we can't test these without some motherboards. So let me show you a couple of motherboards that arrived as well. So here is one of Asus's top end X570 based motherboards for a Ryzen 3000 series. This is the uh, ROG Crosshair 8 Hero Wi-Fi. Uh, let me pop this guy open to give you a better look. So that is the new bad boy. As you can see, this guy's actually actively cooled. The chipset is actively cooled. There is heat sinks under, this is a heat sink here for one of the M.2 slots. I believe there's another one under here. I haven't pulled it apart yet. And that is the familiar socket AM4. Nice black layout here. There's a ton of accessories underneath. I'm not gonna pull them out. I'm trying to turbo through this video just to give you a quick look. But this is one of Asus's top end boards. There's you know lighting here in the IO shield. Um, metal retention you know protection around the PCI Express slots just lots of top end features for Ryzen overclockers and for gamers but uh, as high end as this board is I have another monster to show you next so here is another monster XY70 motherboard this is the MSI Meg X570 godlike from MSI uh, this is a really high end board I swear this box must weigh 15 pounds and it's also much harder to open on video so let me take a quick break and pull this board out for you Hold on just a second. So here's an up close and personal look at the uh, MSI Meg X570 Godlike. This is another super high end board. Uh, tons of features on this guy. Again, actively cooled like the ASUS board. There's that familiar socket AM4. Uh, metal protections around the slots for the memory and expansion cards. Cooling for all the M.2 slots. You know, robust cooling for the VRM and, uh, and chipset linked with a heat pipe. You have a really robust 14 plus 4 plus 1 phase digital VRM on this board. Also, a 
really cool uh, OLED display here that displays hardware health information and other things about the system on this display. Just tons of high-end features. This is what we're going to use to test these latest uh, Ryzen processors. So all of those numbers will be available in our full review that's going to be live on the site as this video goes live so be sure to come by hot hardware and check that out all right i think i'm going to wrap this up here i'm going to go get this motherboard and these processors installed in a test rig and get some numbers going so that you guys can see how these processors perform i know you guys are really excited to see what amd has coming down the pipe here there's been lots of buzz around these chips so once again i hope you like what you've seen here i'm marco Chipetta for hot hardware please like and subscribe and thanks for stopping by.